eating the whole strawberry. Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl's channel. My name's Tylee if you're new and thank you guys if you are a returning subscriber. Y'all know I appreciate y'all. So welcome back to another vlog you guys. Today I'm starting off the vlog by volunteering. Um, giving back is always a good thing and I actually want to make this a goal for 2023 because I don't know why it's like so popular to do these things around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Like I feel like this should be a a all year thing not just around the holidays and it's just so important to give back like that's how you plant seeds that's how you get more blessings and you're just helping another person that may not have as much as you which you know we're always achieving more goals but somebody always has it worse and um i feel like it would be a good thing in my heart to like just give back to the community because you never know who you're inspiring you never know who you're helping and um y'all it actually was actually challenging to find a volunteer event during the holidays in atlanta all of them were like sold out but um your girl did her research and um the real b judy on instagram is actually having an event it's called tis the season to love and she's actually doing it with um Andre Dixon which is the mayor of Atlanta so I'm about to go in now and it's a full day volunteer event from 8 to 4 and I'm excited it's around noontime now but um I don't think they'll mind that I mean people are still walking in so it's coming from a good place in my heart so let's get into the vlog y'all make sure y'all subscribe and join the family and let's get into the vlog So y'all now we are at Barnes and Nobles and one of the things that you know is really important is to start your goals before the end of the year because a lot of people start their goals January 1st of the following year and it takes 21 days to build a habit so I just want to get my goals for next year going you know within my routine and one of my goals is to start reading one book a month i've been saying that i want to do this for a long time but i really haven't been reading so i do have a list of books that i found um that were like life-changing books and hopefully i find a book if not of course i'll probably order it off of amazon but i really just want to really dig into studying myself as a person um really healing from like i mean i i don't have like a lot of childhood trauma but like some of the things that i don't think about on a deeper scale i'm like oh wow that's because of my childhood so and i feel like i just need to you know evolve as a woman there's so much peace in studying yourself evolving growing taking time out to really really learn yourself on a deeper deeper scale um i'm actually going to like journal and document this whole process because the more i learn about myself the more i'm at peace and i just do not stress stuff that i used to stress i really have grown a lot because my patience has gotten better my faith in god has gotten so much better and i'm really proud of that but the more i dig deep the more i can accomplish more things and help other people of course so your girl needs to you know grab a book and really really make this a priority at the end of the night i want it to be a part of my night routine so let's see if we can find a good book in here y'all <laughs> Where's your arm? 
All right, y'all, so we are going to, oh, fuck, I forget the name of it. Um, we're going to a Lakewood, it's called Lakewood Amphitheater, mm -hmm. and it's in downtown Atlanta, and it's basically, you can see the Christmas lights, but it's like a drive through version. Y'all, it's freezing here in Atlanta, like we are officially in the 30s. For a minute, it was like fluctuating with the weather, like going up and down. Sometimes we were in the 70s. Then these last like a week or two, it's just been raining literally every day. But we're officially like, it's, it's winter, winter now. So I wanted to take my baby to see the Christmas lights. So that's what we're about to do. And I'm just so glad that it's a drive through because <laughs> it's freezing outside. It's freezing. Right, boo? It's so cold that as soon as I walked her, she peed right away and then she turned around. Because you know it's cold outside. See, I know it's cold outside. And you got your fresh cut. You smell so good. Yeah. Say hi. You ready to see the lights? Yeah! <laughs> One thing she gonna do is get excited and not know why. All right, y'all, let's go see some Christmas Y'all, one thing that I love that my man does is he pumps my gas. Like, I'm so thankful for my fiance. He just does the manly things that needs to be done. Takes out the trash, does laundry, pumps my gas. Like, super blessed and thankful. Thankful to God for, like, giving me a man that does these things. Because just because you have a man don't mean he's going to be doing these things. You know what I'm saying? You got to pray for the right man in your life. That's a fact. All you gotta do is take your dog out and y'all dog gonna be sweet. <laughs> All right, so we back home, y'all. I got in the shower, and honestly, we love a good fresh face, no lashes, just chilling. Y'all, I made some bomb lasagna last night. Fire, fire, fire. Who is the mo? Who is the mo? So, I'm about to eat this lasagna. I'm about to make some chocolate covered strawberries. I have white chocolate and the milk chocolate. So we have a couple of strawberries left. So I'm like, why not make some chocolate covered strawberries? I'm in the mood for something sweet, but I've also been craving fruit lately for whatever reason, which is good because usually when I snack, I snack on chips, but I'm trying to substitute my snacks y'all. So when going to next year, it'll be more of like a healthier transition to like snacks and you know, foods that I eat outside of meals. So we about to make that. So an update on the volunteer event that I went, y'all. It was an amazing event. There were so many kids, so many moms. Um, there was like a few dads and it was a great event. I was just serving um, the plates and stuff, handing out like mac and cheese, serving on the plates and mac and cheese and sweet potato fluff. So that was cool. That was a good experience, y'all. It truly humbled me. Like sometimes I be wanting more, but I'm like, wow, these kids are so grateful for food. Like I was, 
when I was serving the food, y'all, I was smacking mac and cheese. I was like, you want some more, baby? You want some more? Like, I was really trying to fill their food up because there was just so many kids, so much food to get rid of. Um, they had, like, as you can see by the, by the clips that I showed you guys, they had toys, they had clothes, they had food. It was such an amazing event. Definitely will be doing this again. I'm thinking about the next time it being in a hospital, maybe, like, the kids with cancer or something like that. So... I'm gonna make it a goal to like go at least once um like every quarter i think that would be good to do that but yeah y'all it was a good event i'm glad i went oh y'all i forgot to show y'all the book that i bought the books i didn't show y'all the books that i bought from barnes and noble so I got two books. The first one I got was Atomic Habits. I heard so much about this book, y'all. I heard from so many people how it has changed their lives. So I'm like, let me let me make this the first book that I'm going to read. So my goal is to have it done mid-January, maybe the beginning of January. So I'm excited to see this because when you really want a life change, it really starts with discipline and your habits. So... I'm working on personal growth, so this, I'm excited to read this book. And then the second book I got is The Confident Woman. And this is more of a devotional, which is cool because I do wanna grow when it comes to personal and spiritual. I'm really excited to, you know, tap into this every day because honestly, you gotta grow in all aspects of your life and, speed, and feeding your spirit is definitely important as well. So these my new two books. I'm holding myself accountable. I'm telling y'all I'm going to do this. So I'm going to update y'all sometime in January because your girl got to hold herself accountable. All right. So we are all done with the strawberries. Time to taste test and see if they're good or not. I'm going to try the white chocolate first. So good. I feel like I just inhaled that. We about to try the milk chocolate. And they're pretty hard. Damn. This chocolate. <laughs> this chocolate is stuck to the darn pan. Look. Mmm. I like the white chocolate better, but the milk chocolate's okay too. White chocolate, 10 out of 10. Milk chocolate, 8 out of 10. Good try. I want your feet. I knew you was gonna say that. Tell a gang. I want your feet too. The black one, or the brown one. I mean. The black, the, Oh, they're sticking to the pan. You want me to record my face on that? Stop trying to be sexy. <laughs> mm, mm. Uh oh. Is, Is your teeth like tingling? I'm not good. How are you trying to be romantic? I'm joking, yeah. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. oh, so this is kind of good. Yeah, it is good. I need the real honest review. Oh shit, you. Down. Show them how much you ate, God damn. You gotta put that ass down, gang. Okay. Feed it to me. Are hey, you really worried about people saying my body? Um, you're not. Go ahead. You be trying to stick it. I'll edit all that shit out. I'm dead ass. I'm trying to help you. I didn't know you were so insecure about me. I'm not what insecure this... about you. Oh, okay. Do you want my titties on camera? No. Okay. But this is different. No, it's not. Okay. Respect me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even bite it. Stop being I scared. Did. <laughs> <laughs> and then you I made a, a huge ass face expression like you really bit into it. <laughs> like all a right, all right. All right, out. Oh. Oh. Oh, fucking ate the whole thing. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, he is really eating the whole strawberry. Oh man. Which one you like better? Don't tell me what's on the white one, but um. I don't know what's on the white one. I just made it. I, don't, I, don't know. I think maybe the white one. Nah, that's what I said. I think the white one's better. Yeah, maybe the white one. Okay, the rating for the white one. What's your rating for the white one? I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. What about the milk chocolate? I'm gonna get it eight out of ten. Yeah. So y'all, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Um, I try my best to make this vlog as entertaining as possible, but the next and final vlogmas is gonna be lit lit y'all because i'm going back my um to visit my family so it's gonna be a lit vlog subscribe become part of the family and yeah i literally have to edit this today and tomorrow and then get it up for you guys tomorrow shout out to your girl for being consistent because baby youtube is really not easy y'all for real out of all the platforms i think youtube is like one of the hardest platforms to grow on just because it's like long form content but subscribe, join the family girl, I would love to have you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.